Math 1314 Tyler Jr. College, Section 2.5, Transformations of Functions, a warning about horizontal translations, or excuse me, horizontal shifts and stretches. Normally in a college algebra class, you're not presented problems that combine horizontal stretches and horizontal shifts. For those of you advancing into trigonometry or pre-calculus, and specifically the trig half of pre-calculus, this will be an issue, and of course for those going calculus and beyond. So if you're not going beyond college algebra, consider this video optional. Although there are some college algebra textbooks and professors that make this part of the norm. Sometimes a function will have a combination of a horizontal shift and a horizontal stretch. Recall that a horizontal shift or, excuse me, a horizontal stretch or shrink is invoked by multiplying in front of the x. Specifically, if there's a number in front of the x, if it's greater than 1, it invokes a shrink by the reciprocal of this. So this would invoke a horizontal shrink by a factor of 1 half. And adding or subtracting a new number onto the x invokes a horizontal shift, either left or right, the opposite of what you expect. So here's my question to you. We know this is going to shift to the left because it's added, but how far is it going to shift to the left? You would probably say 6 because it says plus 6, but here's where things get delicate. A horizontal shift is invoked by a number added or subtracted to the x. What is the 6 added to? Not x. It's added to 2x. This does not invoke a shift to the left of 6. This actually invokes a shift to the left of 3. Where did the 3 come from? Well, let me go back to the original question. What number is being added to the x? 6 is not being added to the x. 6 is being added to the 2x. Here's the warning. To locate a horizontal shift, horizontal shift, factor out the coefficient. If we were playing pool, this would be dirty pool. If you have a combination of a horizontal shift and a horizontal stretch, to accurately identify the horizontal shift, you must rewrite the expression as x plus something or x minus something, possibly with something in front. If I factor a 2 out of the radicand, the part under the square root, that will leave me an x plus 3, which directly exposes what is being added to the x. So, this 3 being added directly to the x, not the 6 added to the 2x, this invokes a shift to the left of 3. This 2 still does what, it, what we said earlier. This will invoke, invoke a horizontal shrink by the reciprocal one half. So very sneaky, very devilish. Now for the students in my class who happen to be watching this, there are no problems in your homework that, that have this issue. Uh, but again, if you are moving forward into trigonometry, pre-calculus, or calculus, this can and will show up, especially when you're graphing trigonometric functions. So just keep in mind, that the horizontal and vertical shifts are invoked by what is added directly to the x. If there is a coefficient in the x, you need to factor it out to expose that. This can be generalized, but I think I've said enough. <laughs>